Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James, where I awaken the astrologer within you. You know, I really do feel that for a time of technology, we were a people that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it is with that language that we were able to interpret our birth charts. That way we were able to see our potentials and the magic that we have to get to our dreams further and faster. And so I'm just here today to remind you of the innate gift and the innate knowledge that you already have and that you already know. That way we all get to our dreams further and faster. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Today we're going to get into Pluto in the 12th house. Now, this is a very magical placement and someone who can be very adept at spiritual um, properties and have spiritual qualities and it's very connected to God and Source. But before we go ahead and unpack those aspects, let's go ahead and separate the aspects. That way we are better able to understand exactly what they are on their own and we can do more with that energy and more with that knowledge not just in Pluto in the 12th house. We can understand, okay, that's Pluto playing out in my friend or, oh, that's 12th house energy playing out on the television. You see what I mean? That way we, we're able to do more and we're able to read other people's bird charts and our friends' bird charts and our bird charts when different things come up and different patterns reveal themselves. So, with Pluto, whenever I see Pluto in a bird chart, for me, it is always gonna show me where the, the obsessive qualities of a person can be. It can show me where this person likes to exude power and control and influence and where this person may have power, influence and control, you know? It's also gonna be where this person may experience traumas and where this person could um, experience death and rebirth. Now, when I say death and rebirth, I don't, that's not literal, that's just the metaphor for transformation. This person can have transformations in that area of their life, okay? So, with, the 12th house, 12th house energy is going to be ruled by Pisces and it's going to be ruled by Jupiter and Neptune, okay? Now, no matter what sign and planets you may have in your 12th house, the default ruler of your 12th house is going to be always ruled by Neptune and Jupiter and it's going to be ruled by the sign of Pisces, okay? So, this is going to give energies of escapism. It's also going to be where you go to escape, okay? It's going to be something that is hidden from you and that is far removed. This could be far off lands. This could be um, things that are lost and hidden, okay? This could also be your spiritual, sometimes creative properties in your life. And so what happens when we take Pluto and we throw it into a very spiritual, far removed house of losses like the 12th house? What happens? So for me, this person, what I sense about this placement is that this person can be hidden from danger, you know, and they can be hidden from danger in a lot of scenarios where um, they are far removed from trauma. And it is also things that like maybe trauma happened, trauma does happen to them when they are maybe in a far away land or somewhere far removed or traumas can be very hidden, right? They can be, they can hide away from trauma or they can hide their own traumas. This also shows me someone who is very adept in the spiritual world. I would really recommend that this person go into like spell work or even prayer. Prayer for them, like their prayers get answered because when they pray, they have power and control and influence over their spiritual life. This is someone who can also see the hidden motivations of others. This could also induce a little paranoia within people because this placement of power and control is lost on the person, but it's also power and control within the mind and within their spiritual faculty. So this person, when they have Pluto in the 12th, it's like they will see the intentions and the motivations and the undercurrents of others, but they won't fight anyone or they won't reveal that they know these things. They won't tell someone, hey, I know you're being shady. I know you're doing this. I know you're doing that. They're just going to be people who don't really access their own strength or would rather escape from conflict. They're going to be people who know what's going on, but they're going to sit around and smile. They're going to go. And that person across from them could be trying to you know, get one over on them or do this or do that. And they will have a cunning and squid. The, the person that has Pluto in the 12th house will know this and they'll smile on their face. But then once they get themselves out of the situation in a very cunning, clever way that they will without um, confronting this person, they will then blow up behind closed doors. I could really see that being happening where they're mad behind closed doors or they are people who are behind closed doors. They 
they witness the traumas of people and they understand what people want and the motivations and the, the secretive natures of people and they are psychic in that area and they know what people want but they will never confront it. They will never be someone that tells someone, oh, I know you're doing this, I know you're doing that. They'll smile in people's faces because with Pluto in the 12th house, your strength and your, your you being able to stand in the face of danger and stand in the face of conflict is lost on you. This is in the very, and that's why it takes on spiritual properties because rather than you physically exuding your energy, what you do to fight back is pray. What you do to fight back is you go, God is gonna handle it. The universe is gonna handle it. I know the universe is gonna work in my favor and the universe is gonna right every wrong. You understand, like that's why I'm saying you can become someone that is a very um, big healer. You can be a spiritual warrior. You can be someone who by prayer or through spell work, you create action towards that because your power does not come out in the physical world. It comes out in the spiritual world, you see? So it, this could, also be very careful of being very paranoid because because you see the intentions of others it's like people could show you face value how they're trying to present but because you can see in and key in to what is really going on you see that undercurrent and for you they might not even be wanting to give that they could be trying to play nice but because you know who they really are it it gets in the way of that and so this could induce characteristics of you being very paranoid so be very careful of that i will say that the universe has saved you from a lot of trauma the universe is um on your side as far as like that's what i'm saying you should pray you should really just try to pray like prayer could be really really good for you and you could be a healer you could be people that come into people's lives at their darkest hour or at their worst times and be someone that can be very a motivating and healing force for others and you probably know things that are going to happen before they happen this could be you probably get very psychic and prophetic dreams you could be someone that when you say something it happens when you are thinking about something constantly the phone rings you know it could be very because again you do not exude power and control over the physical world. You have power and control in the dream world, in the psychic world, in the spiritual world. And so this is where you will exude those things. And so this is a very magical placement, I'd say. You know, be very careful of falling into depression or being very critical in your mind or very just, you know, getting too much in your mind because it can really take over. But just, yeah, I feel like that this placement is very powerful and very spiritual and you have the potential to help people through their spiritual transformations or being just a very motivating force and a psychic force in people's lives um yeah if this sounds like you can you write down below if this is you does this sound like you do you have very prophetic dreams are you someone that when you say something it comes to pass are you someone that you know you don't like conflict even though you know conflict is there and you know what people are thinking you know the intentions that they may have for you but you somehow for some reason maybe because you're so spiritual you'd rather not act on anything you'd rather not raise conflict or raise awareness to what's going on you'd rather just let the universe handle it are you that person also write down the sign that is in your 12th house and i will also let you know what you could be experiencing with that pluto in that sign in the 12th house because that's also gonna change and vary depending on what you know sign is in that house but i really hope that this video was enlightening and encouraging for you guys and i will see y'all in the next video all right y'all stay up and have a good one all right bye